Hello everybody, my name is Alex Guerra, and today I will be demonstrating an experiment involving vapor pressure. We'll be using a can, we will be putting water in that can, and we're going to observe the effects on that can after we have boiled the water and submerged it into a cold bowl of water. Y'all stay tuned to see what happens. Okay, so here we are going to fill up the can with 100 milliliters of water. Here we have our equipment that we need. And then here you can see the steam or the vapor pressure that's coming out of the can as the water is being heated inside. Okay, now we're quickly going to take the can and submerge it in the bowl of cold water. Well, unfortunately, things didn't go as planned, so I'm just going to show you guys what's actually supposed to happen in case you're wondering what was going to happen to the can. So in this next little video clip, you'll see what's actually going to okay, happen. We're coming out of the top. Now quickly dunk your can into the water. So basically heating up the can gives energy to the liquid molecules that are inside. These liquid molecules then get excited and they spread further apart. So enough heat and enough energy will create or cause a phase change from a gas to a liquid. I mean, from a liquid to a gas, excuse me. So that is why you see the vapor pressure coming out of the can. The gaseous state exerts more pressure than in the liquid state. So that there is an imbalance between the atmospheric pressure and the pressure that's inside of the can. So basically that imbalance is what causes the explosion or the collapse of the can. And there you have it.